What's up, friends? Today we are here to play some Until Dawn. Uh, this game was a lot of fun to play. I played with my girlfriend Grace, but we learned that about a half hour through it that uh, the audio wasn't working. So I had to go back and redo it without her. So she won't be in it for the first couple of videos, but then she'll come later. Um, either way, uh, it was a lot of fun to play. Had a great time. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I want to take this time, though, to thank you guys for the support you've been giving me. It's awesome. I love doing this right now. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me know what you think in the comments below. The butterfly effect. Tiny butterfly flapping and swings today can cause a devastating hurricane tomorrow. Do you guys remember the butterfly effect? The movie? Why can't I speak today? The butterfly effect. I can't remember if it was bad or not. I want to say yes, but... Who was in that? Josh Hartnett? Whatever the hell happened to him. The teeth in this game, man. It's too much for me. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Alright, again, for everyone who's watching, I've actually played through about the first... 30 Why minutes of this game this didn't realize my audio wasn't working so Josh. this part I already know what's going on till about week about the time we get it back into the house um, so I'm just gonna kind of rush through with the choices I made just to get back to that point because I don't feel like doing all this over again to be quite honest I don't know if I have to look at these things, Josh. but I'm going to do everything that I did before, Once or at least try to. You've outdone us mm. all. Come on, turn. Turn for me. Oh my god, seriously? What the hell? There we go. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, 
I love that he says make out and you automatically oh take off your top. She's <laughs> what? Oh my god! Matt! What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah! I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! All right, so I went outside. So we're gonna do that again. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine, she just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't I don't serious. <laughs> you get how jerk. this prank Hannah. does anything. I also love the fact that I don't know if this before. You know, I kind of think you're the last person. But they're wearing to yoga pants, right. and they continuously wear yoga pants throughout this game, oh, at least as far as I've gotten. And it doesn't seem logical to be in like a blizzard. I mean, okay, you can see your butt. Appreciated, but you got to be cold. That way, I'm pretty sure. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Right there. I also don't understand why. Why can't I go that way? There we go. Why, uh. Hannah would run outside and, like, run through the woods instead of just going to her room or. Locking yourself in the bathroom. Especially without a coat. forget about that. <laughs> Hello? Hello? We'll pick up this totem. Actually, oh, wrong button. Never looked around this area to see if there was any other totems. And I wonder if they see that. Or if they just pick it up and us as the viewers get to see it. So be a bit freaked out. You gotta figure they'd have some kind of dialogue. If they just saw themselves dying. Hannah! Just a flamethrower in the woods. We're just gonna keep walking. Like it's no Hannah. big deal. Great reflexes. Hold on. Hold on. I chose to let go before.
Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Yeah, I was playing I this earlier. This. I want you to remember this. But you I got to a point and then realized that the audio that was looping, beat, so you're hearing everything twice. And then it would just keep repeating and repeating, so I restarted. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I don't like you. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I said, happy. But I didn't realize the scarecrow had a hook in his hand before. In what way did it make you happy? Uh, I said it was peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? I said yes. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, I'd be scared. It's definitely what I said. Because the second he said it was haunted, I'd stay in there. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. <clears throat> and what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. I also noted before that this intro kind of reminds me of The Last of Us. Sort of. I don't know why. But it does. Which is a great game. If you haven't played it, go play it. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. 
Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love that his eulogy for his sisters, he talks about porn stars. Very classy. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Hello? Someone there? Once again, guys, I'm just going to be skipping over this stuff until we get into the house. Because I already did it. But if you don't know what's going on, it basically said that the gate was closed. And to climb the wall. Because it was locked or broken or something. Oh. 
Bella? You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Let's get to it. <laughs> cool. So basically this sign just tells you about the different totems you can find in the game. Uh, and basically what each of them do. Or tell you. Yes, tutorial. No, I don't know who's in the woods. Looking at her. I assumed it was this guy that... You meet in a minute. That's her friend. But I have no idea. Chris? You here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? It said Ashley, though. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. doing at the base of a ski lodge. Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. I always wonder if people, like nowadays, know who Grizzly Adams is. Cause I mean, I barely knew who the hell he was when I was younger, so I can't imagine that someone now would know who he is. Wow, nice shooting chance. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. It's our squirrel friend. Rupert. Is what I will call you. But I will not shoot you. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Pun City! Hey, sharpshooter, our ride's coming. Hey, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. 
keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. What a crazy place to set up house. Right. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Only bottom mountain. Only bottom mountain. Huh? Saw this. The thing that sucks is now we gotta wait. <sighs> so slow. The car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It just feels like a sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I guess I'll just teleport behind you too. Let me in. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. What I don't understand is how like a third grader has person a training bra on. Butterfly effect. The teeth, man. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Time to meet and greet. Spooky. Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I said... Mike and Explain. M split were together. Whoa. 
Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. They don't ever read it. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the At least so far. So I wonder what it says. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? You mean Mike? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh, Sam. <gasps> hey there. This view? I'm Sexy like Batman. Cow. Sometimes I you being naughty? Stop Causing being trouble? Knowledge. Like right with the uh, her. For the whole five minutes I've known this fictitious, fictitious existence. I don't think it would Can't stand like her. Pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? So pompous. Oh my god. <sighs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now.